We had already completed some of the minuscule side quests, though, like the saboteur. And yeah. Other ones. Okay, I gotta say, I actually really like how this thing drives. You could I probably think access more of Ryder's father's memories. Uh, mm, eh, maybe. Okay, so where is this? It's a little further. bit further down. Okay. We've also. Oh, that's the research station there. Okay. Let's see, if it's no trouble, could you see a bit of the multiplayer? Yeah, actually, uh, that was gonna be the plan. So now that we finish this off, we're gonna finish the side quests, and then I'm gonna go play multiplayer. Unfortunately, I won't be around for that, but oh well. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you wanted to, we could pay five bucks, and you could join me for the multiplayer if you actually wanted to. Wait, why five bucks? It's five bucks to get EA access, which lets you download the trial. Eh. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. It's like, I'll, I'll play it. I'll see if, uh, Batbeard's around. Uh, let's see, so what do we- oh wait, no, we want journal, we don't want better beginning, it's additional tasks, remnant cores, oh, these are tasks. Locate the researcher's other station. Yo, secret project, okay. I wish, uh, picking objectives was a little bit faster. Like, if I could just pull up a log with every available quest instead of having this, like, weird nested system. Mm -hmm. I hope they fix some of this stuff. The engineers knew their stuff. Let's get these to a research station. Adapted Initiative Core Tech. Data Adapted Apparatus. Unique Operation Action. Updating Initiative Operational Standards. Analysis. Recovery aside, this device is valuable for its non-standard adaptation of the initiative technologies for Helios-specific operation. Field improvised devices, leapfrog development cycles, and provide significant research potential. Let's see. Did we pay an extra five, ten dollars to get this early? Uh, yes, but it also came with a 10% discount off of the game. So ultimately, uh, the price uh. actually balanced itself out. Okay, so we're done with this area. Uh, I'm just gonna fast travel to the Tempest itself. And we'll go. We'll see if I can go back to the Nexus, and we can go uh, do that crime, crime thing. I like it. I like the implanted uh, fast travel. It's mm -hmm. super fast. Ascent generally, uh, generally, this game has few loading Leaving screens. All clear. I guess that one's a loading screen. Yeah, at least it's interactive. I mean, yeah, at least you have it's something. Going off, some dialogue. Ryder, okay. Lexi was looking for you. Oh, oh, do you want to talk with Lexi? Sure, why not? I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. Uh, T. 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 Exit. Uh. Okay, so who's Lexi? She must be someone else on the ship. We haven't really seen what our group yeah we haven't really is. interacted with anybody. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Ooh, strike team missions. Okay, <laughs> uh, waiting debrief. Mission failure, but they gain EXP. Ah. Eh, happens. Why did you send them on something that was too difficult for them? I guess so. Uh oh, it tells me the chance of success. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah, very much like what World of Warcraft implemented with strike Legion. Team ready for deployment. Okay, so where's Med Bay? I guess I can check the map. I uh, okay. Here we go. Research room, tech lab, bio lab, airlock, skate, skate pods, pods. Bridge, bridge, sous vide, calo, cora. I would look up the other deck. Yeah. Lexi. Okay, okay so she's downstairs. I just want to take a look at everything I wish else. they had more symbols. Like, shouldn't they have a cross Yeah, it would be nice if there was actually icon, uh, like non-generic icons, but like icons that you could actually, can I don't know. Can you vault over? Did it, was it giving you that option with the up button? Find a rider to engineering. Repeat, rider to engineering. <laughs> Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? 
Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. You know one thing that's bugging me? What? They're over-animating his face. Like, if you notice, his eyes are, like, twitching all over the place, and he's like... Yeah. I, I think it's... Uh, so, I, I noticed this with Horizon Zero Dawn, but I think it's the pitfalls of... Um, bridging Uncanny Valley. Like, yep. you know, five years ago, there was no way to bridge it, so people just did the best they could, and everybody looked kind of plastic. And it was Uncanny Valley, but it was like well, that's why people so. rely, uh, relied on stylization. Yeah, and so they're trying to go with realism, and they did a pretty good job making the main character look fairly realistic. You know, she's she got saw, a couple she of like weird looks quirks. Too happy. Yeah, for the she, situations she's she's always too smiley. -ish. Also, like the eyes sometimes look like I, I find this often. Sometimes characters can get cross-eyed, or their eyes go, "Eh, never mind." Come on, let's let's continue the conversation. Okay. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Whoa, no, 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 not that one. How about this one? Yeah. I didn't know you could romance the engineer. Uh. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Yeah, it really does actually look like they're reading teleprompters. You know, I wonder if they are, actually. What do you mean? No, 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 no. It makes sense. Because you have, you mocap, they're mocapping every face here, probably. No, the, these faces are much too. But they're still mocapping it because it's much cheaper to mocap. Maybe they're mocapping the lips, but the eye jitters no, and no, 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 everything no. associated. But the eye jitters make sense because if they're mocapping mo him while he's talking and his eyes are jittering back and forth. They don't mocap eyes. Yeah, they do. They do? Yeah. You can mocap eyes now. And so I wouldn't be surprised if they just put the script in front of X voice actor, because, I mean, he's not that important of a character, so you really don't need him to memorize his lines, and you just track the eyes, and it makes him look really, really strange. Working theory. Not entirely sure if that's true or not, but I figured I'd float it just because it sounds... Sounds reasonable, actually, now that it... Uh now that I'm like you putting see, if thought I were to delivering it. lines I would actually be looking up and addressing the camera and if, yeah. and if they're contemplative or something and need to look aside for a moment then do so but I think it's again the pitfalls of crossing an uncanny valley they can't do that without high amounts of like budget constraints oh this elevator animation is nice looking but time consuming okay am I these are the pathfinders quarters your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Oh. Armor customization. Eh. Check out the wardrobe. You know what? We're going to check that. We have a nice... Email terminal. All right. What emails have you received? Interviews. To writer from Carrie Tavessa. Hello, Pathfinder. I'm a freelance vid maker, and I would really use your help, could really use your help with my latest project. It's going to be historic. I hope. Just like your mission. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Carrie Tavessa. Oh, so she's like the interviewer? Okay, so acknowledge. But yeah, so the reason why everything looks probably kind of bad... What? Space rocket models. Yep. Early space flight. Oh, so you got more video logs. Well, yep. log logs. Yeah. Not, not so much video logs. So yeah, the reason why things look kind of bad is because they don't have the budget to put in, you know, the same level of detail that they put into, you know, Sam here. Oh, music. Oh. Wait, this is music? Apparently so. Okay, uh, let's start from the top. I don't, actually. I don't know if these are real artists. Really? Yeah, I don't want to oh, deal with any kind of... Oh, you don't want to yeah. deal with copyright? I wanted to look at this, though. So we can have... 
jacket Ooh, or I like that. short sleeves. I actually like that. Long sleeves. We're going jacket. Customized Size colors. colors. Whoa. Eh. Maybe like black with Let's go with, let's go N7 here. There's Yeah, oh. a little bit darker burgundy. Yeah, there we go. There Looks we go. A more natural. And Oh, oh, that's that's sleek. Yeah, not that brighter red. Was it this? Yeah. Well, no, or, no, no, no. No, but, actually, we want white in here, don't we? It was black, red, and white. Yeah, fine. This looks nice. Now she's starting to look like um, Tomb Raider. No, not Tomb Raider. Uh, Resident Evil. Oh yeah. Claire Redfield. What? Wait. My color customization. Give it back. <laughs> Maybe you didn't finalize your colors. I ah. Uh, don't don't do that to me. All right, so we go. Uh, maybe if I do white here, black here, and red for the sleeves. Eh. Uh, I don't really like the white on the cloth though. Uh, let's do that like kind of dark burgundy again. Black here, and white there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how do we confirm? Just do outfit selection, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so that works. Uh, auto tint. Default tints. Custom tints. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's cool. Could always do our own colors though. Yeah, we could. Oh, pattern. Let's just do pattern. That just probably adds modeling. It's not much of a difference there. Uh, I kind of like this one, even though we we need like way way more options. Okay. Okay, please. Wait, you can do pattern color? Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, customize color, pattern color. Oh, you're right. Uh, so if I, ooh. So it just adds, uh. I dig it, just a little, little bit of accessory. white. accessory. Here, let's, oh. You just undid it. N what? Armor tinting options, go back, and then that should, that should, that should keep it. Okay, there we go. That is no. Ah, never mind. Why is this like nice and also? No, nope, it undid it. For I you. give up. We got our we got our casual clothes. We look like resin speed racer <laughs> and or proto man or something. Okay, can, can we can we leave? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Huh. I I am sorry, Sarah. I cannot permit <laughs> you to leave. This entire game's a front for like a 2001 ah! Space Odyssey reference. <laughs> Sam, let me out. Okay, seriously, where's the um... the doctor? Yeah, over oh, on the left. Yeah. Oh. You just passed her. I guess we did. I didn't realize that she'd be here. She has a. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. So everybody actually has their everybody own. Everybody else has to sleep in here. Can That's you imagine funny. Uh, if you eventually get Drac where he'd be? <laughs> Just like, I can't even fit in these bunks. He's like sleeping in the sink. Just like <laughs> also, draped over this, it. Who is the little stuffed animals? I assume that's PB's, maybe. Wait, but PB hasn't joined yet. I, yeah, that's a good point. Dinner okay. tonight, null entry. Sorry, everyone, I forgot we were taking turns and half the rations aren't unpacked yet. Callow, comments. Got you covered, Callow. There's soup in the galley. Dextro and Levo for me and fruit cocktail. Vetra. Oh, so that's Vetra talking. And then Callow. Wait, who's Callow? Oh, Callow's the Solarian. Yeah. And to think so, we might have left port without you. So Callow would have been more like this. Don't, yep. don't Solarians talk like I that? I don't know. I, I'll... i Mimic the voice once so I've heard it more Suvi often. So there's Suvi and Liam. Suvi's the Scottish lady, right? Yeah. And Liam, Liam also has an accent. I can't quite I'm place it. I'm just gonna though. read them out loud for the time being. All right. Not right now. Oh wait, anyone want to help me move a couch? Not right now, but I'll keep you on my list, especially if your biota can drop and can drop the weight. Pay you back in beer or whatever else we find, Liam. Are you, are you serious? I never joke about comfortable seating, Liam. Welcome to your new info board. Uh, Woo, 
and congratulations, Pathfinder Writer, on successful installation of your InfoBoard version 3.4. You are now ready to keep yourself and your staff informed on the latest developments aboard the Tempest. Comments. Uh, that's Cora. Oh, okay. Okay, I've set up everyone's user accounts. Have at it. So we can post anything here? Anything you want the whole crew to see, though I disabled image embedding. Missed opportunities. Okay, we've already done dinner tonight. I like the logs. They're uh, charming. So these are Helmets spare and gear, outfits and stuff cards, like that for them. Stuff. Uh, info board, bathroom. So she's on the other side. Presumably. Oh, this is the galley. That's a kitchen. Uh, here? Yeah, here. Okay, eventually we'll know how to get through here. You're oh, not sorry. Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Interesting thesis. Oh, you can romance her as well. Uh, no, no romances yet. Okay. That's a very specific topic. I grew up on Omega, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. I wonder if the room they did mocap in had like a breeze. That's why everybody's why eyes hearing... are kind of twitchy. No, 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 no. It's just that they like Everyone kind of keep blinking keeps... so often. Yeah, they, it's kind of like a wince blink. It's weird. Okay, okay, so that's you've got this from Harry. You don't need an old man a few hundred years your junior to tell you you're ready for this. I'll do it anyway because I know it's true. You keep your rider safe, and I'll do the same with mine, Harry. So he's taking care of Scott. Is that Harry Carlisle or whatever his name was? Yeah, Dr. Okay. Doctor Carlisle. Okay. Well, uh, we're done with that. I don't know. Anything else we want to do around here? We've talked to the engineer. Well, we wanted to return to the station to yeah. see if we could hand in at least that one quest. Maybe report back on uh, the pod from Bugs the other ship. the hell of, out of me that we have. We don't, like, um, snap to elevator. Or not elevator, ladders. Have we? It's oh, all yeah. been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Okay, we'll talk to them later. So, you can romance Lexi. Yeah, it seems like you can ro romance a decent amount of your crew. Okay, so naming the dead and a better beginning. Those are things that we have to go back and do, but I assume Anomaly those are going to be kind of ongoing Where? things. I don't know. Out there on the one that's highlighted in yeah, blue? Yeah, I guess or? so. Nope, over there. Tracking a Asteroid. huge mineral deposit. But oh, we've got uh, one of these. Elevator ladders that escalated quickly. My brain's <laughs> in other places. But yeah, it bugs me that you can't do like a snap climb on, on ladders. Because like... Uh, I wonder who thought of... Uh, it's slow. Of escalators as like moving staircases. Uh, Somebody really lazy. I mean, you get the staircase and you're like, I could get this to move. <laughs> All right, well... That's the, uh... Probably applied the idea of the, you know, tractor... Well, the tread. for Not tractor, tank tread and, uh... 
Oh, they probably used other... I mean, the mechanics of it must have been rather easy to figure out once you had the basic concept down. Just, you know, time-consuming. Actually, oh, they sort of raise and lower, I don't do they? I do not like this. The Nexus has been here for months. Yep. Still not enough time to survey all. Oh. This is probably one of the games that would give you a uh, seizure warning. We have warning. a whole season. Uh, what? There's anomalies everywhere now? Yeah. We don't want to make this another anomaly episode, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to scan. We're just going to go for anomalies. Uh, you know, whenever an anomaly shows up, I'll go for them. This is I, probably how you acquire resources between planets. Yeah. So what's probably going to happen for planet scanning is that'll be something that I do off camera. And if I run across something interesting. Like we land on a planet, uh, then I'm just gonna save and we'll get it the next time we record, if that makes sense. Oh. That way I can do that without you and we won't have to worry Zheng about. Zheng He. Too much issues. An unusually rich deposit of element zero. This happens to be a primary source unbroken, uh, broken up by space time distortions in the scourge. Okay. Okay, so let's let's go to the nexus, and hopefully. Uh, do that prison thing. Or prison murderer thing? Yeah. Let's murder some people! <laughs> hey! That'd be an interesting game, actually. One that accounts for you, like, m more or less immediately going for Interstellar Warlord instead. I do have to say, we haven't really been introduced to our crewmates as well as I recall them being. Like, it seemed as though they were a necessary part of the plot as you were progressing but in the original we've only Mass been, Effect games. We've only been playing this game for six hours, and a lot of that had to do with us side-questing I mean, on the Nexus. I mean, just jumps you and is like, oh, can you help me with this? And then doesn't actually participate. But, like, that's about Petra, the... Petra, you meet... That's, a, no, no, that's about the same thing. Um, who was it? Ashley? She, you had to save her. You had to save her, but, like, you don't really, like, learn much about her. And she has almost no character development apart from, like, being freaked out and injured. Eh. Uh, and in need of saving. Garrus you find later, same thing with Tali, like... Well, Tali you had to find because she had relevant information regarding Saren. Yeah, I, I think... And she had to present to the council. I think it's more of an issue of... Do you have oh. just a minute? Okay, Carrie wants to talk. I, let's just finish this. I think it's more of an issue of... In this one, they're... They're giving us the characters really fast. Kind really of fast Mass Effect 2 and 3 style. Yeah, so they're kind of coming and, coming and going. Which I actually kind of appreciate, but it does make it feel like the, the characters aren't as... Uh, yeah, we haven't... We know that our character is supposed to know Korra and Liam yeah. fairly well, but we haven't really... It hasn't been shown to us. Petra just is like, oh, hey, yeah. get so on the ship. It's and rushing a little bit. Hopefully we get to learn more about them as we go along. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. I can romance her. What? I, I don't know about <laughs> How that. How many people can we romance in this game? Can I romance murder droid? Is there a murder droid? Okay, that's Is there a legion? Can I romance legion? Very noble. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Hmm. I'd almost agree, like, I'm kind of... I mean, I'm trying I'm, to think of all the instances in which, uh... I mean, wasn't even Hudson thrown off his ship and, uh... Yeah. Left to die? Yeah. Up in, I mean, um, like, or half... am I thinking of someone else? Half the boats that crossed the, uh... I want to say, like, half the boats that went around with Magellan sunk. Uh... 
didn't one of the boats with Christopher Columbus? Come they were out? probably gonna mutiny. I don't remember. There, there, there are people mutinying. Yeah, yeah. They, they just, yeah. All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Um, there's not really much to edit, lady. Okay. Oh, hey, you can speak with Vetra, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't. Don't shove the crate off the... You shove the crate off the ramp. Where do they find these people? Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Going well, I hope? As well as it can go with limited resources, yeah. Tiny steps. Well, that was not much. That's it? Yeah. I assume we'll I get the opportunity to talk to, to her some more. Asked about her mercenary past. And I, I assume we get more companion dialogue. He has a dumb helmet. Uh Mm-hmm. Well it's maintenance. I helmet. assume we get way more companion dialogue once we've actually had the opportunity to, you know, sit down and do things. Vehicle merchant. Maybe you can just upgrade your current vehicle. Yeah, so uh oh, those are my items. What's hex? Uh oh, paint jobs. More paint jobs. Eh, I'll think about it. I like hex. I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Another this... type of merchant? General. General merchant. Uh, da? Mod slot augmentation. Apply one such augment to a gun during its development process. Oh, that's fancy. So this will give it two extra mod slots when you're making it. Interesting. Uh, and then a bunch of... Augmentations. So these are crafting components. Yeah, or just like the little slottable things that you can put in so it does like extra damage or extra shield regen and stuff like that. There's a lot of them, actually. Holy crap. Ooh, do they sell copper? Copper's like the only thing I care about. Because the rest of this stuff I can live without. Oh, uh, I don't like clicking my keyboard too much. Oh, we can get like a Nexus model. All right. Ooh. I love fluoride. It's so pretty. Sell copper. So, uh, I think I need silicon, but I'll think about that later. <laughs> well, no copper. Titan. Well, no new sniper rifle. I'm doing okay. We're kind of one-shotting anybody, everybody anyway. Sure. There's a lot of things here. Arms. Okay, so there's the Crusader, which is super, super expensive. The Falcon. Uh, ooh. Actually, you know, the Falcon is pretty close to my ideal in a way. i check details. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. <laughs> never mind. I mean, it does a lot of damage. What I want, I, I mean, really what I want is kind of the midpoint between a sniper rifle and a, just a gun. I don't know. Oh. Can we go back to talking with people? We can go shopping That's as much as you want later. Thanks for helping out. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh. Instead of building some of these, we can also get the uh, higher level Pathfinder armor. Mm -hmm. That might be useful. I wish they didn't show them in the profile view and actually showed them from a three-quarter... It would be nice if they showed them on your character. That too. I'd like to see a preview. Okay, anyway. I'm really digging this jacket combo. I think this is also like a pre-order bonus. Okay, so we have operations, cry... oh. Oh. The cryo bay? Yeah, so we you actually have... to see have, if you can visit Scott? Uh, I don't know. I, I just know we have the ability to go all over the Nexus, which is kind of surprising. Wait, uh, my girlfriend's what? Golden World's actually golden. We'll be waiting a while. Oh, so some people are wondering when their loved ones are going to be awoken. Oh, I'll Nigel McCoy. Bright, Dash. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. 
Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant that our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Well, that would be easy enough. Oh, uh, okay. oh is that Scott? Yeah, it looks like it. There's Carlisle. Well, Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, but still, we lost a Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your brother here pulls through. How's Scott doing? His condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so he's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. So, you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. So it made sense that Lexi and I switched places. She's younger. Well, for a sorry. They're still teenagers when they're 200. And she's one hell of a doctor. She'll serve the Tempest well. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Scott, I'll let you know. Do you notice the jerky shrugs? Yeah, he like keeps teleporting his shoulders up and then it's like, wait a second, no, 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 no. Shouldn't do that. Okay, so I don't want to talk to all these people. We could, but I really don't want to. Let's, let's go back. It looks like there's still side quests, but let's turn in the ones we've got and we'll come back later for the ones we have. So what do we think? Probably operations. Mm-hmm. Because mainly I just want to turn in the uh, murderer quest. And then we'll come back for other things at a later date once, uh, you know, once the game's fully out. Okay, yep. Uh, looks like we're good. So we wanted to talk to Prison Man. Really? Rensis. Yeah. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? <laughs> An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You... You're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The Chief's Omni Tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Hmm. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Engineering report. Yeah, I don't like him. Yeah, it was, I feel bad it was, for the wife, but like... It was still his intent. I mean... It was interesting because one of the eyewitnesses was that young lady and she said, well, if the captain didn't die, then we would all probably be dead because yeah. he was the one ordering us on a suicide well, mission. Well, man, but... we're getting there. Put in a good word for us. Something I can help you with? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. Yeah, can be complicated. 
These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Uh, I mean... He intended to kill that guy. Yeah. At the same time, that guy was also jeopardizing the whole team. Yeah, the the other guy was more or less suicidal and would have gotten everybody killed. For no reason. Cause they were they were leading a charge to retake Eos. Or like the Eos colony or something like that. In the middle of a sandstorm. Yeah, it was in the middle of a sandstorm. The Ket were possibly there, but not upon them yet. Everyone was pretty convinced that they would have died or been yeah. wiped out if they hadn't turned back. Yeah. But, but, he did intend to kill him. Hard to say. I, I don't like the guy, but now that I'm thinking about it, and if you hadn't brought up the quote about the one person saying they would have died if it wasn't, uh, if the leader hadn't died. Well, right. Isn't that what the witness said? Yeah. The lady? Yeah. Like. He's... Well, because Tan is arguing that it would set a precedent that people should defy authority and take matters into their own hands. Yeah, but after, at the same time, you know, do you follow orders absolutely, Blind, blindly even if it's going to be, like, a complete useless suicide run? Mm-hmm. Uh... And I mean, if he's exiled, where is he going to go? What is he going to do? His for poor wife's going to be crushed. Yeah, okay. It was crazy down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Okay, well, will we actually be able to find him? Or his wife? Where was his wife? Uh, his wife's down here. Was down here. She has... Disappeared? Disappeared. Well, I guess that was that. Uh, do we talk to him again? Nope, he is warped out He's of existence. He's not there, but are they there? Yeah. This is them. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. <laughs> Learn from this. Make sure you control yourself better in the future, Nelkin. What? What does she mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any more... See, oh, we can start okay. building a bank of vaccines once we get more. So we've got those. We don't have any side quests here. Yeah, so we're pretty much done with the trial. There were a lot of conversations you could have, though. I mean, there's a lot of conversations we can always have. To some degree, I'd like to keep things streamlined, and I really want to give the multiplayer a go to see what that is, especially because I know Batbeard's waiting in the wings. Uh, I'm gonna quickly make sure. I guess we can check the. Uh, let's check the map. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any remaining side quests that can be done because we've got allies and wait no 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 this is journal. Wait yeah. Okay yeah so we don't have any more uh, memory triggers, and we don't have either of those additional tasks so we can't do this one yet because there's more remnant sites and stuff like that but we can't leave because there's too much radiation, so we're locked into one zone. Lost brother we might be able to do. Uh, we gotta wait on that one, Data Trail, and Name of the Dead, all of those have to wait, and then we've just got a bunch of completed missions that, you know, whatever. Okay! Yeah, so I guess the last thing I'm gonna take a look at, we got some skill points. Uh, we wanted to look into tech. Um... So you're just gonna be a... Jack-of-all-trades kind of guy? Uh, well, I was probably gonna get rid of combat. Oh, really? So are you gonna be a... I wanna be an infiltrator. Tech bio? Yeah, 
tech bio, uh, cause that lets me do, um, uh, that lets me do the see-through walls and stuff like that, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So I want to do, uh, let's see. Let's put a couple points into incinerate. I like the idea of burning, uh, especially on like larger groups. Mm -hmm. Flamethrower seems like it'd be neat, but there aren't a whole lot of enemies nearby. I know. Do you know whose face she reminds me of, actually? Uh, Sarah Connor, like the original Sarah Connor. Uh, from oh, the yeah, old you're right. Terminator movies. She does kind of have that. People have been feel. complaining about her lips, but wasn't her weren't her lips really big? I think so. So can I? I think the same actress is also in a Beauty and the Beast television series with uh, Ron Perlman as the Beast. I don't think I can take these off. Okay, whatever. Let's get Nova. Uh. Okay, there we go. And can I change my profile? So we're we're currently in an adept, but if we do this, a lot of abilities. I'm not too worried oh, about that. Oh, so they're damage. called Sentinels. Oh. Currently Sentinel, yeah. Mm-hmm. Twelve into biotic and tech. Oh. Is it? Oh. Did you get the wrong? I niche? went the wrong direction. What were you looking for? Evading? Yeah. Cloaking device? Yeah. But we love biotics. Why would you abandon it? I'll screw around with it. I mean, we can also just go in every direction. Absorb significant amounts of whatever damage gets past shields. I mean, you you've been having shield issues. So That's a good point. Good? I don't know. We'll think about it and figure it out. There's also like Explorer if I want to go really down there. Eh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's save. 